Welcome back everyone, I am Mario and let's talk about cut tools. So if this is the first time that you hear about this topic, I would just like to do a small introduction in what actually we're going to talk about. So for example, here we have a cube and if I hit number three to check our subdivision preview, from this cube we get a sphere. So basically the reason behind it is we don't have enough geometry on this cube to support its shape, so that's why it basically becomes a sphere. So in order to support this shape, even in the subdivision preview, so that here instead of a sphere we still have a cube, we need to add more geometry. And more geometry we're gonna add by introducing the cut tools to this geometry. So we have a couple of here. We're gonna talk about multi-cut and we're gonna talk about insert edge loop. So basically we're gonna start with insert edge loop and let me just come here and reset the settings first. And once you come here to shift, you can also activate it with shift to right click once you're in the edge mode. So by any chance, maybe if you're maybe in the object mode, the only thing you need to do is click here, go to edge mode or simply right click and select the edge mode. And then you can come either in this menu here or simply shift right click. Actually, let me come here. So shift right click and then insert edge loop tool. So now we can come here on the edge. It says click drag on the edges. And then basically you can now release wherever you would like the edge to appear. So if I again now hit three to check our subdivision preview, we can see that more edges I add here, the more of that cubicle shape we we get back and also notice the positioning of these edges. So right now they're more like middle. And if I put them closer, so if I put them really here close on the very edge, you will see that we will get this edge back. So that simply means that the closer two edges are to one another, the more sharper that corner becomes. So if I now uh, come here and hit Q, and basically Q will confirm the operation. Now I can also right click and go to object mode, click away and there we have our cube. So this is now our subdivision preview. We no longer have that sphere, but we have our cube instead. So this is just the basics of adding edges. So insert edge loop is one way that we can add edges. So let me come a couple of steps back. Okay, so we can now talk about multi-cut. So multi-cut is another tool. So also you can find it on shift, right click and multi-cut right here. So it will appear uh, a bit differently, but actually can act in the same way. So if you hold control, you can now add cuts in the same way like we did with insert edge loop tool. Except that multi-cut, now we'll see that by default it will act like a magnet. So let me just again select it. So it will, whenever it's close to an edge, Actually, whenever it's close to a point, it will act like a magnet towards that point. And that simply means that you can, uh, let's say, create your own custom edges. To make it even more clear, I will just quickly extrude this face. So for example, there, for some reason, we need to create this edge flow on our own. So I will come here to multi-cut and then I will come here to this point. Basically, if I'm trying to connect the point, I will need to hover on top. But if I need to draw, I can also start from here because it is going to snap to the point. And then I just need to left click and draw that edge. Once I'm done, I just need to right click. And same thing here, I will just come here and draw that edge and then right click to confirm it. And then I can continue drawing it here, right click to confirm. And again, left click to here, left click and again, a right click to confirm. So this is how we draw, uh, we can draw our edges. And again, to exit the multi-cut to confirm the operation, we simply hit Q or just click right here. So basically that is how we add edges. So let's talk about a bit more in depth. So there are a couple of things that we can do here. So let me also show you a couple of other options. So let's say that we have this as a surface. And let's now talk about options uh, that we have with insert edge loop tool. So I can come here to my, let's say edges and then shift right click insert edge loop tool. So before I uh, start adding edges, I can also go to shift control the right click 
and then you will see that we'll have much more operations here containing with uh, in uh, insert edge loop tool. So by default, we have relative offset and all of these as uh, set on. So I just want to talk quickly about relative offset and absolute offset. And basically, uh, multiple edge loops uh, is just that, that we can add, let's say, multiple edge loops like so. So let me go again to shift control, uh, right click, and let's go to relative offset. So if I now start to add edges here, you will see that these edges are more even out. So if I even come here very, very close, you will see here that the uh, distance between these this edges and this edges is not the same. And we can change that if you go to shift right click, basically shift control right click. And instead of relative offset, let's choose absolute offset. So basically now you'll see the difference between the two. So absolute offset will just give you a bit more uh, let's say evened out distance between the edges while relative offset will give you a bit more let's say like spread out uh, value instead so both of them have their uh, purpose and some situation will uh, in some situation we're going to use absolute and in some relative so when we come to that we're going to mention that as well all right so let's say that we have this situation for some reason where we have a loop but this loop is not fully closed. And let's say that we have a multi-cut and with multi-cuts, we cannot close this loop properly. So you'll see that this loop has a different flow. So in this case, we would use insert edge loop tool. So let's go to insert edge loop and insert edge loop tool has this autocomplete. So if I come here, you'll see autocomplete design. That simply means that you will see the difference here that autocomplete will actually complete this loop for you so it's a kind of a neat uh, neat feature in some situations you want to have this uh, turned off so let me again just maybe uh, use a cube real quick here and i just want to create a situation here all right so let's say that we have this situation and we would like to have a loop that goes here around so what we can do is let's say use multi-cut and then let's say draw couple of edges here around like so or what we can do is we can select this ring of edges right here and go to insert edge loop tool and then on shift control right click disable autocomplete and then we can select this loop hit enter and then we will get this situation so I can now go to vertices and just slide let's say this vertices like so and basically this is again uh, when we would use autocomplete and when not so it, it just depends uh, depends on the purpose all right so let's talk about one uh, other feature and again we're going to use a cylinder for that and let me just uh, extrude this here inside delete this and i'm going to delete this lower part as well and so uh, maybe we can add small bell here all right so let's say that we have uh, this situation and multi-cut has a lot of options here so what we have is multi uh, multi-cut uh, uh, snap step which is set here to 20 and that simply means for example if i now hold control i can now also in combination with control i can hold shift so now what happens you will see that uh, with the shift command, it will snap on this 20% intervals. So you can change this value to anything and basically it will just snap to that value. So we can increase it to 15 and then it's going to snap to that 15% value. Then we have this edge flow and basically edge flow means, uh, so let's say that this curvature, we need to maintain the curvature, but we need to add one more cut here. So in order to add the cut, we can just hold control and then we will add the cut here. And then you will see how this cut will change the curvature of the surface. Without edge flow, it will just be a regular cut. With edge flow, it is going to be a bit more curved. So it's just gonna to try to calculate the distance between the two and then create the curve in the middle. What you also can do is hold control key and middle mouse click. So basically what that will do with middle mouse click, it will give you always the loop in the middle so whatever you are you can just middle mouse click with control 
and that will always give you the loop in the middle. There's the same thing in the insert edge loop tool. So if I go to shift right click insert edge loop tool and then shift control right click to select uh, let's say edge flow now we can add the same thing okay i just need to here activate autocomplete and let's go to relative and now i can come here and it will be the same thing so as you can notice it will now also add that edge flow feature there's also a thing where you actually do not have to let's say add edge flow feature so we can come let's say to multi cut i'll hold control and then middle mouse click in the middle let me just disable edge flow like that I can also select these two edges and go to shift to right click and there's an option here, here called edit edge flow and basically that will give you that flow back just in case for example maybe you forgot about it you can also always go to shift or right click edit edge flow and then that will bring that curve back. All right uh, let's talk about one more uh, feature so I'm gonna just remove that and also yeah uh, I can also maybe mention one more thing since we are here in multicut so basically multicut has a lot of features here uh, you also have a, a keyboard mouse shortcut so you can also check this out if you want to so for example you can snap to grid if I now hold X and activate the grid you will see that this will snap to the grid points actually I didn't want to that so if I now hold X you will see that it will snap to the grid and it will have this snap icon uh, all right let me just also increase this a bit more and let me go back to multi cuts just save a grid for now and we can also slice so for example if you would like to come to one of the views we can also uh, hold a um, left mouse click somewhere outside here and while holding you can now create a slice across the surface so for example you can now create a slice here and that will be your new edge loop uh, what you can also is uh, delete faces so if I now slice it here then it's going to delete that part that you would uh, like or if you want to extract that just means that it will create a separate surface here within uh, this tolerance in many situations what I use is just regular let's say cut like this if I need it and if you check it here then it's going to look something like that so yeah let me just double click on this and then control delete this loop and there's also one more uh, feature that we would like to talk about and that is connect components and basically that just means if I select let's say one edge double click on the other and that will select the complete loop and then I can come here to shift right click and then connect component and then you will see that it will uh, create this one edge directly in the middle and what it's cool about it is that you can set it on a hotkey for example for me that hotkey is K and then whatever I need let's say a quick loop in the middle I can just uh, select this uh, ring and then I will always get this uh, mid loop pretty fast so sometimes that is also very useful and the thing is is that it's also working with um, let me just show you it's also working with the points so for example here we have an empty space we can go to right click vertices and then for example connect these two vertices so if we just go to shift right click connect components there we are so if you have it on a hotkey it can be pretty fast and then you have quick uh, fix right there let's talk about one more tool and this is going to be the connect and basically how it works is very similar to uh, connect components and so yeah uh, all you need to do is just come here and click on the edge where you want to add it so uh, there's a couple options here you can slide it on the surface meaning that for now it's 0 0.5 which means that it's in the middle and if you would set it to let's say 0.2 then it would be closer to one edge and if you need to confirm the operation you just need to hit enter to actually con to confirm uh, this and then we will go to connect again and you will see now every single time where you would uh, create this uh, edge loop it will always be on that 0.2 value 
Uh, let me go now a couple of steps back here. And also with Q, you can confirm the same operation. So let me just again reset the settings, hit Q, and now we have this right in the middle. Also, what it's cool about it is that you, you can also connect two edges. So if I hit connect, you can connect two edges. And also what you can do is you can connect to multiple edges, meaning that I can now select this selection here, hit connect, and it will uh, create an edge loop right here in the middle of that selection. And then again, you can choose uh, how much segments you want or uh, how much slide or how much pinching you would like here to have. And for now, I'm just gonna go to segments one and then hit enter and hit Q to confirm. Also here I want to mention is that you have a lot of keyboards um, and mouse shortcuts, so you can also remove some edges if you don't like and so on. But yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting tool. It has its uses. For example, like in this situation, if you would like to have something like this, we can delete this area and then just, let's say, fill hole and then have this shape. But um, the same shape, for example, you can achieve with the multi-cut. If you, like you mentioned, like we mentioned before, you just draw this shape like that. And basically, yeah, we have the same shape that we had uh, there. So it's very, it's very similar in that matter. All right, so I believe that that is all what I wanted to talk about here, but if something else turns out or something uh, worth mentioning, we are definitely gonna talk about it in our future project projects. But for now, I'd like to close this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.